China's aircraft carrier Fujian and J-15T fighter jet hold maritime integration test. A trailer of an official media program released on July 30, 2025 shows a J-15T carrier-borne fighter jet casting a shadow on the flight deck of the aircraft carrier Fujian at an undisclosed date and location. Official Chinese media on Wednesday released footage of carrier aircraft integration tests between China's electromagnetic catapults-equipped aircraft carrier Fujian and the J-15T shipborne fighter jet. The main feature of the J-15T, an advanced version of the J-15, is it can launch from all three Chinese aircraft carriers, which come in two types. The first two flat-top warships of China, CNS Liaoning and CNS Shandong, use the ski jump style for launching aircraft. CNS Fujian the state-of-the-art Chinese aircraft carrier, uses catapult-assisted takeoff. This enables the Fujian to deploy with heavier and larger fixed-wing aircraft, allowing the J-15T to carry more fuel and munitions. The Fujian is China's first aircraft carrier that is equipped with electromagnetic catapults and a resting device. Having a full displacement of more than 80,000 tons, the carrier was launched on June 17, 2022 and conducted its first sea trial on May 1, 2024. Since then, the Fujian has completed multiple sea trials, accumulating more than 100 days of sea trial. An expert said the tests marked a major milestone ahead of the upcoming commissioning of the Fujian. China Central Television CCTV will start airing a documentary program on the development of the Chinese military starting Friday, the 98th founding anniversary of the Chinese People's Liberation Army, the military channel of China's Central Television reported on Wednesday, and released a trailer of the documentary. The trailer featured a lot of new footage, showing the PLA's advanced weapons and equipment, including its nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine, DF-17 hypersonic missile, robot dogs, and aerial drones. Footage of electromagnetic-assisted aircraft launch on board the aircraft carrier Fujian was specially mentioned by the China Central Television report. The footage showed that a J-15T carrier-borne fighter jet was prepared at a launch position on board the aircraft carrier Fujian. An order was then issued, position 2 clear for takeoff, according to the China Central Television CCTV report, which did not show the launch of the aircraft. However, another clip showed a J-15T in the air, casting a shadow on the flight deck of the Fujian. Chinese military affairs expert Fu Qianxiao told the Global Times that this marks a major milestone of the Fujian, meaning that the carrier aircraft integration tests were likely already underway in previous sea trials. Fu said that sea trials could verify the Fujian's electromagnetic catapult and arresting technology. While the technology must have completed tests on land, it is important that they were done on an actual aircraft carrier at sea. Various types of aircraft, such as heavy fighter jets, medium-weight fighter jets, early warning aircraft and even light trainer jets, would need to conduct related tests before their official commissioning, Fu said, noting that the Fujian could host aircraft of different weights thanks to the electromagnetic catapult and arresting technology, which can adjust and adapt to the different weights. Wei Dongxu, a Chinese military affairs commentator, said that the aircraft carrier Fujian has been making steady progress in sea trials, and is expected to be commissioned this year, China Central Television News reported in June. The Fujian is China's first aircraft carrier that is equipped with electromagnetic catapults and a resting device. Having a full displacement of more than 80,000 tons, the carrier was launched on June 17, 2022 and conducted its first sea trial on May 1, 2024. Since then, the Fujian has completed multiple sea trials, accumulating more than 100 days of sea trial, official media reported. Chief designer of China's J-15 carrier-borne fighter jet envisions to produce aircraft like mobile phones in future, a top Chinese warplane designer said that future fighter jets will incorporate unmanned systems, artificial intelligence, as well as other advanced technologies, moreover, they should be produced like mobile phones. A Chinese expert said that this vision is highly forward-looking signifying a substantial enhancement in the nation's all-encompassing capabilities across domains. According to specialist outlet The War Zone, the J-15T has been seen in service with its original variant, the J-15, since late October, when the Liaoning and the Shandong took part in China's first dual aircraft carrier operation as they transited the South China Sea. For the J-15D, the report said examples of it might also have appeared on the Shandong's flight deck, where at least two possible airframes of this aircraft were spotted by experts. 
During the recent visit of the Chinese People's Liberation Army PLA Navy aircraft carrier Shandong to Hong Kong, the newly developed carrier-based fighter jet J-15T made its public debut on the carrier's deck, attracting widespread attention. Sun Song, an academician of the Chinese Academy of Engineering, also the chief designer of China's J-15 carrier-borne fighter jet, stated in an exclusive interview that unmanned system operations and AI will certainly be applied to fighter jets, the CCTV News Military Channel reported on Tuesday. He explained that the J-15 focuses on energy maneuverability and weapon use, while the J-35 will emphasize informationization and speed prioritizing rapid response throughout the entire process from detection and engagement to withdrawal. With advances in technology, China's carrier-based aircraft will become more intelligent in the future, Sun noted. Sun also said that the production speed of aircraft will accelerate in the future, noting, we need to produce aircraft the way we produce mobile phones. He added that the analogy of producing aircraft like mobile phones means all functions will be software-based, with the platform and functions designed independently. When the platform is modified, integrating the functions will result in something new, Sun said. Highlighting the need to accelerate aircraft development, the chief designer noted that the research and development cycle for an aircraft typically spans roughly 15 to 20 years. But if other countries start introducing new innovations every five years, we'll quickly fall behind at our current pace, he warned. Wang Yanan, chief editor of Beijing-based aerospace knowledge magazine, told the Global Times that Sun's remarks are highly forward-looking, as they offer a phased target for development. This means future aircraft would need highly standardized interfaces to allow for plug-and-play upgrades, as well as open architectures with both forward and backward compatibility, according to Wang. Enabling aircraft to upgrade like mobile phones implies a major leap in capabilities across all aspects of the aircraft's complex systems, enabling rapid and flexible system-wide iteration, the expert noted.